Hey guys, welcome back to Savage Mama Fox here. And today is a special day. I am going on a tour to Full Sail and I'm going to take you guys with me. This is my outfit. It's kind of like baggy pants. I took a shower already. Now I am going to brush my teeth and do my hair. Yeah, you like video games in school, but video games is not gonna get you into college. Five years later after high school, I go to school for video games, and now people are like, man, I should have went to school for video games. I should have focused on video games. So, because I didn't want to start a brand. I didn't want that load. I was like, I'm already in my master's program. I'm doing eSports. And then my friends were in my head like, nah, Tony, nah, you need to start it now. So I was like, you know what? I'll create two times it's Tony. I was like, I sat down one day, had my leg up, called up the boys, we don't talk on the phone, so that imaginary call of the boys. I was texting the group chat, but I need a name. And then my boy was like, how about a Triple T game? I said, what, Two Talk to Tony? Got it, done. Called my designer, I was like, hey Gary, hey man. Hey, I need a brand, I, I, need, I need a picture. He was like, what you need, big dog? You know, he didn't say that, but in my mind he said that. And I was like, hey man, I need, I need me with a gas mask for smoke coming out of it. He said, all right, man. In real life, he said, all right, man, take a couple of pictures like this and send it to me. And my mom was like, hey, I got you, big dog. Hey, man, take some pictures. My bet. So I took some pictures. I was like, man, this thing going to be whacked. I'm like, he don't need, like, what is he, like, and I said, you know what? I trust you. Show me what you got. He sent me this. I cried. I cried. Oh. And that's when. <laughs> <laughs> Chipola is currently 3-0 and, oh and is the number four seed coming into this shootout. Heron, driven to deep left field, and the Tars win it! Every year, we induct six full-cell graduates into our Hall of Fame. 
Can I just like take a minute and soak this in? If any of these students reach this point, it's gonna kind of hit you like a brick wall. And you're like, well, I didn't, how did I get here? Friends, families, and mentors all come together to honor these extraordinary individuals as they reach this milestone in their careers and in their lives. These are alumni who have graduated 10 or more years ago and have made noteworthy contributions to their industries. This is the coolest club of people. And I'm really happy for you because as kids, we always wanted this. Dave is an absolute genius at this and I've loved the times that we've worked together. Couldn't happen to a nicer, more talented guy. Um, proud to call you a friend. It's an honor being directed by you. The event through their eyes and see just what it's like to experience this week as a student. This is my first Hall of Fame experience. I've never been out to nothing like this before. They got the food going. They got the music going. If you want somebody to play your music, they got that over there too. Basketball, all that. Like It's, it's a real experience out here, and I love it. So welcome everyone, I'm Kyle Fraser. I am the studio manager here at Full Sail Studio V1. This is Full Sail's virtual production stage. The other person you heard talking is Marcella. She is our in-house visual effects awesome guru, Unreal Wizard. Um, she will be talking to you guys a little bit in the future, more people every time. I'm Kyle for new people. Hi new people. Hello. Um, so what are you looking at? So what I have behind me in front of you is a 40 foot wide by 16 foot tall uh, LED screen that is a window into the virtual world is the easiest way to describe it. So it is acting as a way for us to see into the game engine. So we're running everything in here through Unreal Engine. Um, how many of you guys have heard of the, the small TV show called The Mandalorian? One or two of you, right? So this technology really is brought to the forefront because of The Mandalorian and the need for real world reflections. And the ability to be able to move quickly is one of the big, big benefits here. So if we could go ahead, let's make it nighttime. And then let's, Let's throw up a movie screen so we can show some of the work that we've done here in the space. And I will talk over it and kind of give you a kind of a brief run through of everything. The first thing you're going to see is our super cool logo. Um, and then we're going to go right into the building of the stage. So once all the parts arrived and everything got going, uh, we were about a month to get everything built. And during that time, Marcella was busy at work building our very first environment, which is the first one you're going to see in here, which is a winter, um, a winter landscape, for lack of a better description and it's being the fifth one of these I've done today. So then we're gonna go right into this, which is a way to show you just how cool of, of a tool this is. So if you watch our, our friend here um, walk up, she's gonna stand, walk up towards the globe, you're gonna see a ceiling over her head, which is a very nice wooden ceiling. It'd be very expensive to build. Um, but what we do is actually use the video game engine to distort the image and make it appear as though there's a ceiling over her head without the need to build out one. Change some things around. 
but I can easily grab the whirl of this character and then move it upward and then I just, I have a chair without a back and then I can just roll across. Hopefully <laughs> I can do that every time. Just make it back. <laughs> Demo the big key difference between game art and computer animation is that everything we do in our program is focused on interactive work. Right? So when you tackle interactive work, you have to do some things a little bit different. Not everything, but some things. Uh, which is why we share a lot of the same courses. So game art and computer animation share the entire first half of the degree program, as well as a couple of other ones even in the second half. So there's a lot of crossover with our programs, but again, when it comes down to the core of it, everything that we're doing is on the interactive side, right? So it can be, it still can be animation, even though it's not in the names, it can be animation, models, materials, that's, as long as we're dealing with interactive work. Now, virtual production, obviously, right? You guys were over on the studio, they're using game engines. When we shot the film in there last year, we had seven students that were students at the time work on the production, work um, in the, as part of the virtual art department, make stuff uh, for that film. When you are part of a virtual art department like that, you're not making stuff on the stage, that's just where it ends up. You make it in here. So this was the studio where they would make all of that kind of stuff, and then over there is where we sort of test it out. So that's that virtual production side of things. Architectural visualization, used to just be pen and paper, starting to move to kind of 3D renderings. Uh, but a lot of that is done in real time because it allows clients to sort of move around the space, decide if they want to change things up, um, and do it right there, and not have to sort of wait for things to kind of go back and forth on that. Content creation tool, again, computer animation as well is going to be using that. That's the thing you can, you can do a million things with it, modeling, animation, rigging, rendering, uh, effects. It goes on and on. Big, big tool, big in the entertainment industry. Looking at the largest esports arena on any college campus in the nation. With over 400 LED tiles, more than 10 million pixels, two independent sound systems, and an incredible pair of audio and video control rooms, the Fortress is at the forefront of event production technology. Not only does the Fortress actively support Full Sail's collegiate esports team Armada, but it also serves as an expansive space to host collegiate esports championships, professional gaming events, and more. With over 20 years of experience in game development and scores of grads working in the gaming industry on some of the biggest titles, Full Sail has leveled up in the competitive world of collegiate esports. We'll see you at the next Fortress event. Please welcome to the stage, Bethany Williams, Alumni Relations Representative. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Are you having a good day so far? A 
Hoffman here at Folsom University, and I am so excited to be here today to introduce you to four of our incredible graduates that we've brought in to talk to you about their careers and what it's like to actually work in these industries. At this point, you're probably starting to identify a path that really speaks to you in your heart, and now you're looking for the best route to pursue that career. Well, here at Full Sail, we have a unique approach to career development that we're very proud of. Social media followers. Bloomberg Magazine called our first guest a game-changing influencer. He is a director and filmmaker and a graduate of Sony TV's Diverse Directors Program. He's directed over $4 million of brand and entertainment for brands like Lyft and T-Mobile. In 2020, he signed with Tool of North America as a commercial director and has directed commercials for companies like Allstate and Dryer's Ice Cream. As an actor, he has starred in North of the Ten, the number one film on BET Plus, and he recently directed a project starring Kevin Hart to be released exclusively on Masterclass.com. Please welcome film graduate Wesley Was Good Armstrong. to come to Full Sail? When did I know? I started creating videos on YouTube and I was on the radio simultaneously and an engineer was like, yo, you should check out Full Sail University. And I'm like, well, what's that? So I went on the website and I was like, oh, this is crazy. Um, and then somehow you guys got my address and I was getting brochures for an entire year. <laughs> I was like, all right, I gotta go down to this BTS weekend. So I came down here and uh, I was automatically hooked. I was like, I'm coming to this school. I'm gonna be an editor. And then I saw how much work that was and I was like, coming to this school, I'm gonna be a director. And, uh, <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I've been hooked ever since. Zach, let's head over to you. Um, how did Full Sail and your education here prepare you for the game industry? Yeah, it was, it was everything for me. I feel like, uh, What's great about this school is I, I had a great foundation. I, I kind of got to see all of the different aspects of the game and film industry. So when it came time to be out in the industry, even in my interview questions. And the Oscar goes to Dunkirk. Greg To my daughters, Luciana and Devin, I love you. Hang on to your dreams. They are so, so valuable. And to everybody at Full Sail University, I love you. I love you so much. To see how lights and how lights affect emotion 
what I'm doing can add to the performance. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 